in the fall, the nighttime temperatures are starting to get a bit cool, and if you've had your house plants out for vacation on the deck or on the front porch, it's time to bring them back in. And you know, you want to first start by taking, thinking about temperature and light. Now, they've probably been out where they're warmer, and they get a lot more light and longer days, so you want to try to acclimate them back into a house setting, meaning you can either move them in at night to your house, into the garage, or even up close to the house underneath the porch to start that process. You know, our houses are a lot darker in the wintertime, they're a lot drier, so you really want to do this so that they can have that slow transition back into your home, so they're not under a lot of shock, so they don't drop a lot of leaves, and they get stressed and, and become unhealthy. And then you also want to really make sure that you check for all kinds of insects, which also includes slugs. One of the best ways to do that, I think, Judy, mm -hmm. is just if you can pick up the plant, or even if you can lean it over, just lean it over, take a really hose and a strong pressure, and just wash off all the possible insects you see and even some of the eggs. Yeah, and you might want to get some closer inspection on that and look for um, specific insects like mealybugs, um, scale, and spider mite. And there's a whole host of chemicals that you could use to kind of um, take care of those problems. There's in insecticidal soap. You can even use like a, a very light um, soapy solution of dishwashing liquid and just spray it on and then use a paper towel to kind of wipe down all of the leaves. And be sure to check underneath the pots mm -hmm. for slugs because even the small ones you can almost miss. You know, another thing that some people say is a great idea to do is to take off the top inch mm. of soil in that pot because a lot of the insects and even some of the baby slugs live in that area. But if you do that, be sure to replace the soil before you take it in. And then you want to also do a, uh, one of the things I love is insecticidal granules. These are great because you don't have to spray them right. and they last for six weeks. So you sprinkle this in the top and, and it really will last for that long of time killing any of the sucking insects or the eggs that you might have missed. And then finally, the best thing to do is give a little leaf shine to your plants. You know, they've been outside, you cleaned them down, and you can just give a little luster to it so that you can enjoy it the rest of the fall and winter. And then also, for the protection of your furniture, of your carpet, of any of your floor surfaces, make sure you use some kind of a dolly or a, and a saucer, some kind of a, um, a system that will keep the pot away from that, that surface because you never know when there's going to be a little bit of extra water underneath that pot and you can damage the surface of your flooring. So make sure you do put some kind of barrier in between that pot and your floor. Now we found all of these great products out at Owls in Sherwood, but for more information on how to get your houseplants ready for the winter inside, you can go to Gardentime.tv.